We're hunting up by Sabatora's Rex. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Gland Bodybuilding, and today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about bicep training. Now, I'm standing out here in the rain, and I wish some of this rain was in Australia right now because we're getting lot, lots of rain, which is why you see me videotaping inside all the time. And uh, yeah, videotaping, that's an 80s reference, but I'm not really videotaping, I'm videoing or filming myself. But I'm not really filming, I'm putting myself on a CFast card and putting it on my hard drive, which is different than filming, so I don't know why we use the word filming still. But anyway, I'm filming myself inside, and that's the reason why is because there's been so much rain. So right now I'm freezing my butt off. It's just above freezing right now, but I am a mountain and sometimes mountains have snow on them. So mountains can deal with the cold, right? Okay, so yeah, you heard, heard it straight from the mountain right there. I'm outside mountaining for you, all right? So today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about one thing I noticed with people with bicep training that made the difference whether they gained muscle or not in the biceps. And this is something I had to correct with numerous clients and I had to correct with numerous people over the years. And it's one thing that I am revisiting now as well. And this is the constant tension principle when it comes down to bicep training. Now, the normal way people do a bicep curl isn't necessarily wrong, but what you will notice is that when you do a bicep curl, a lot of times you will bring the dumbbell down, then rest it at the side of the legs, and then bring the dumbbell up. You know, regardless of whether you bring the elbows forward or not, or whether you keep the elbows back, you know, there's different preferences, different ways people are built, but this is standard protocol when it comes down to the bicep curl. Mountain. Now, the one thing I noticed when I was training clients was a lot of times they were doing this standard bicep curl, yet their arms were not growing. But the instant I took them, put them on an incline curl, or put them in a position where they brought the arms down, but kept the elbows bent so that way there was tension on the bicep still and then they would concentrically lift the weight by keeping tension on that bicep but not ever relaxing it at the bottom they instantaneously gained size on the biceps i mean within weeks you noticed that there was some different development in the biceps because of this now this is why a lot of times i'll teach people to do incline curls because even when the arms are almost straight the tension still stays in the bicep on the incline bench Constant tension is also the secret to great storytelling. I'm so tense. I'm so tense. With the standing curl, I'll always notice guys lift heavy weight like this, and then they rest at their sides. Now, again, you can get some results this way, but what I found to be more effective is when you come down with the weight, keep the tension on there, even if the arm is bent more so than you would like, and then return the weight up. Now, don't be using super heavy weights with this because you don't want to tear a bicep or pull anything, but at the same time, by keeping that tension on the brachii, you're gonna make a massive difference in your bicep development. This is a big thing, it's totally underestimated, and it's the big thing I notice with a lot of people that don't have bicep development, is that they relax their muscles at the bottom of the movement before returning upwards again, before concentrically lifting the weight. So don't underestimate the constant tension principle when it comes down to your bicep training, and realize where are you taking the tension off that muscle group and yeah, change the exercise or change the technique in order to keep that tension on that bicep brachii and you will notice massive results. And share my stuff. Seriously, share my stuff. You guys are sharing my stuff. That's, you know, I'm just gonna get out of here. Nobody's sharing my stuff anyway, so screw it. I'm just gonna leave YouTube, that's it. This, this, this is me leaving YouTube because nobody's sharing my stuff, that's it. It's a waste of time anyway. Let's go play with a stick or something. More fun playing with sticks. Hey, I'm not playing with you guys anymore. Nobody's sharing my stuff. Hey, any other subscribers out here? Hey, somebody want to watch my YouTube channel? You know, this there's probably something to this. I think I think this is a problem. This is why I'm looking for people where there is none. I'm gonna I'm gonna get Bigfoot to watch my stuff. Some Sasquatches. Hey, you Sasquatches, watch YouTube. Come on, Sasquatch, just get on YouTube, man. I need some subscribers. I need some people to comment on my videos and stuff and like it up. And I need like a different type of YouTube channel called Animal Tube, where animals watch. Get some deer and rats and squirrels and stuff to watch my stuff. Yeah, I think that'd be good. I think that'd be good. That's good advice. Hey, hey. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps you out. I hope this helps you build mountains. 
And if you need to get home, just go to naturalgallantbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now. Yeah.